G'day, how you all going? Welcome to Bootlosophy. You can't see me, but my name is Tech. I want to acknowledge the uh, Wajuk people, who are the traditional custodians of the land that I live and work on. Now today I'm doing something slightly differently, because uh, in the last few weeks I've been getting some emails from uh, my subscription to Grant Stone's website telling me about their new releases. So I thought I'd uh, wander through the website to have a look at the new releases and take you with me. So here is the Grant Stone uh, website's home page. Now, before we get started, I just want to make very clear that uh, I am not sponsored by Grant Stone. I don't have any partnership deals with Grant Stone. Uh, so I don't actually have anything to do with the brand, except it is one of my favorite brands. And I do like uh, the makeups of the uh, boots that they do put out, particularly some of the newer ones that um, I've been told about. Um, one thing, though, I will put a link to this website down below in the description. It is an affiliate link, uh, but it's through an affiliate uh, uh, platform uh, that's not to do with Grant Stone. Um, it doesn't cost you any more. Uh, I'm not getting paid gazillions. I think I get paid something like 7.5% if you choose to buy the boots through my link. So if you're going to buy these boots anyway, not going to cost you a penny more. It would be fantastic for me if you decided to use that link. But let's go on from here. So this is the home page, and if you haven't been here before, there's a series of uh, drop-down menus that you can have a look at. So um, we'll just come back to those in a moment, but there are help lines where you can go into an FAQ page, which is really um, quite interesting. And obviously, um, the contact and fitting information is quite interesting as well. They do have a blog. It's not updated all the time. It's in their journal. And the story is really about me, um, about them, uh, and the construction methods that they have. They also sell some accessories. Um, you can have a look at those if you want. And then they go into a limited release page. They have women's uh, boots and accessories, but in particular, um, they have uh, men's boots. So um, let's take a great quick look into the uh, boots for men. Now, right at the very top, let's go right to the top. Uh, so this is their boots page. Um, it's very simple, really. <laughs> they just show a matrix of all the boots. The way they tend to do it is those with a grey background like these here that I'm highlighting, um, tend to be uh, limited releases or special editions and they kind of run through until the leather runs out. Um, sometimes they're restocked, not all the time. So if you do see any of these uh, 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 boots with grey backgrounds and you do like the look of them, you know, I, I'm not sure I'd hang around. If you like the looks of them and you can um, get the size that you want, I'd, I'd give it a go. And then uh, they tend to lay out uh, their stock uh, um, uh, makeups. So the diesel boots come first in their various different um, guises. Uh, this Crimson Chrome XL is a beautiful looking thing, really. Um, and then they go through uh, all the diesel boot makeups, and there's a lot of them, including these in the Vibram 2021 or uh, uh, Vibram Wedge Sole. Um, and then you start coming into the brass boots. So these brass boots here, this, this one in Saddle Tan is in the wedge, but they also come in Commander Souls. Looks Jungle Kangaroo is really, really beautiful. Uh, they come in Chrome XL, of course, black, crimson, dune, which is their natural, uh, black Chrome XL in a wedge sole, and so on. I've got these brass boots in Earth, and I might put a link to uh, my review of them because I really love these boots. Then these are the new ones. They're field boot. Um, Crimson Chrome Excel is one of the latest, but also their Saddle Tan looks fantastic in the Walnut Bison. Um, they also have uh, their other plain toe service boot model called the Edward. Now this one is built more formally than the Diesel um, because you'll see that they have very large quarters. They don't have a, uh, an external uh, counter cover, so it looks very elegant and clean, simple lined. Uh, they have a couple of cap toe boots left, not many. Um, I'm surprised because they, they're really very nice looking and cap toe. 
um, not very popular, I'm assuming, because they're gradually sort of disappearing off these pages. Then they have the Ottawa, which is their uh, Norwegian split toe model, again in their different uh, guises. And uh, my understanding is that this is not a real mock toe. The uh, apron here is not a different piece of leather from the vamp. Um, and that split toe is also not, uh, not joining two pieces of leather, although this is um, hand sewn, so that's fantastic. They also have their Chelsea boots. Um, I don't think I would necessarily go with them for their Chelsea boots. I think there are other makers that sort of make um, better ones depending on what you're after, I think. And then they have their chucker boots. And then we come back to these grey background ones. Some of them are on sale. Now, often what I find is that if they're on sale, like this uh, Loden boot, Loden suede boot in, uh, in the diesel design, if they're on sale, they tend to be towards the end of the run. So again, if you like what you see and they're on sale, I'd grab them. But anyway, we're here to look at some new designs and I wanted to look at, in particular, this one that came up uh, in my email box recently, the field boot in Crimson Chrome XL. It's really a really lovely looking boot. It's got a kind of supported bump toe, protective bump toe. It's a, it's a mock toe design with a uh, fold over lip. It's sewn on. A um, couple of very interesting pieces with contrast stitching, brass um, eyelets, and these D-ring type things at the top rather than speed hooks. Plus um, the sort of padded collar, which I find quite interesting, quite Timberlandy. And I think you'll find that um, this whole design is, is um, quite classic. Uh, comes in a mock toe in this particular case. Uh, quite a round, uh, voluminous, voluminous toe box. Uh, I think it's in the Floyd last, very similar to their brass boot. Um, very lovely looking leather, this cr uh, Crimson Chrome itself. But the one that really drew my attention initially when this field boot came out was the one in Saddle Tan from uh, Badalassi Carlo Tannery in Italy. Uh, you know, they, they um, are quite amazing in their patina making uh, uh, possibilities. I have the diesel boot in this Saddle Tan and it's, um, you know, it's really starting to darken and mellow and look really lovely. And then the third field boot makeup that I'm interested in is um, this one in walnut bison. So it's bison leather. Um, as they say, the field boot is designed for walking, working, and long weekend adventures. About the upper leather, American bison hides are known for their heavier weight and naturally distinctive grain patterns. The prominent pebble effect varies throughout the leather, making each cut unique. And indeed, it's really quite an amazing looking leather, I think. Really nice. If you expand that, you know, it's quite fantastic. I hope you agree. I think this detail of the D-ring and this uh, padded collar makes this look a very interesting boot. Now, the other things in this website that I was interested in were the kangaroo leather, particularly coming from Australia. So um, this is our animal, the kangaroo, and this one is the Edward. Remember I told you that uh, it doesn't have an external uh, counter color. It's got a single back strip at the back here. Very large, um, very large quarters so that when you do lace them up, the, the uh, edge facings almost meet so that they look quite formal, uh, even in this sort of leather. Now kangaroo is very lightweight leather. Um, so it can be quite thin and supple, but retains quite incredible strength. Um, the, the kangaroo hide uh, is vegetable tanned in this case, and it creates a, a very sturdy leather that ages and patinas quite well. The other kangaroo leather boot is this uh, Ottawa. The Ottawa is the um, Norwegian split toe. You have this mock toe effect of the vamp and then the uh, stitch down the toe, middle of the toe. Uh, it's natural kangaroo in this case, so you know it's going to patina really, really nicely. Um, it's going to age really quite well. Although it looks quite blonde at the moment, it will eventually 
darken into a, a sort of deep honey color. It's going to be really beautiful. And then they have their diesel boot in one of their classics uh, called Jungle Kangaroo Green. Uh, if you don't have a green boot, I highly recommend you take a look at this one because this is one that I am dreaming over. Um, and really, you know, some of the detailing on this, on this, um, on, on the cuts of leather are really quite astounding. So exotic leathers, I mean, you know, people have different opinions. They, they think that maybe the Grant Stone last is quite a dressy last. So it doesn't quite suit these exotic leathers. But if you think it doesn't suit exotic leathers, take a look at this one. This is um, ostrich. This is their diesel boot in cognac ostrich. And I, I can't say I'm a, a, a fan of um, the ostrich leather itself. Uh, you know, it, it, it just, it speaks of cowboy boots <laughs> to me. Um, so uh, it, it's not quite my style, I don't think, but I, I do think this is quite an interesting kind of design. And this one is a diesel boot in Kango tobacco ostrich, so different color. Uh, the ostrich leather is very pliable, of course. It's very soft. Um, hmm, taking a while to come up. It's very soft, but these feather holes here are quite amazing. Uh, the quill, I think they're called, uh, quill texture, uh, which still feels quite supple. You know, this is a business style boot, I think you might say. It's business casual. Um, and you wouldn't think of ostrich in business casual, but you know, to some people it works. Maybe not my cup of tea, but it is interesting. And the final ostrich I wanted to look at, again, it's a diesel boot in the Ranger ostrich. Now, this one is quite interesting because it has sort of a fairly cross grain hatched effect up in the uh, in the shaft. If you take a look at the others, they're not as pronounced. The, the quill goes sort of part way, um, but definitely still quill-like. But these in the Ranger ostrich, a lighter, um, what would you call it, a wheat-colored brown, uh, I, I think that's quite interesting the way it changes from where there are quills all over the leather to this sort of cross-hatch approach. Um, this one is in a uh, leather outsole function. So anyway, um, as I said, I wanted to take you through uh, their website because I was interested in a few new things that they were bringing out. You know, it's always interesting when you think you know a boot maker and then they, they bring out these uh, different makeups and even different designs, like this field boot. Um, quite Timberlandish in look, don't you think? Anyway, um, I just wanted to catch up with these offerings. Um, you know, quite frankly, I might be looking for my next one. Uh, don't forget, I'm not sponsored, but I have put an affiliate link to this website below. So if you decide to buy, it can help me out and help me defray the cost of uh, my web, uh, my uh, uh, channel. So before we finish, tell me if you like these sort of website exploration videos. I mean, um, they're new to me, but you might like them. Uh, maybe you want me to have a look at the websites of other brands. Just uh, let me know. And in the meantime, don't forget, um, make sure that you like and subscribe uh, uh, to my channel uh, because it will help me get uh, my information and channel and offerings out to more people on YouTube and that will help me keep my channel going. So until the next time, take care guys, uh, and I'll see you the next time.